It's spring in 1982. Darkness descends on Yosemite Valley as towering Half Dome basks in the day's final sunlight. A bus filled with passengers eager to witness Yosemite's iconic landmarks rolls toward the valley floor. But sightseeing for these passengers will have to wait for the light of morning. Among those on board is Lee Stetson, an actor from Los Angeles, making his first journey to the National Park. He makes his way through the darkness to a campground, and there he settles in for the night. And then magic happens. So I, I decided to wander around the full moon. I found a trail that out of Camp 4 that uh, sort of meandered up to a place called Columbia Point. I, I'd never, obviously, had been there before, but the trail was pretty well lit, and uh, it seemed safe enough to me to go sauntering up there. So the first time I really saw Yosemite Valley was by moonlight at, from Columbia Point. And looking at that moon spanking out those granite walls and... and uh, 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 the valley stretched out before me, of course. Uh, I was immediately smitten. Stetson would continue to be smitten by the grandeur of Yosemite the following day. Stetson was lured to Yosemite by the writings of John Muir, whose passionate and eloquent plea for preservation of the environment in the late 1800s resulted in the protection and formation of Yosemite and other national parks. Though Muir died in 1914, his spirit and message would continue to thrive through the artistry of the actor who made his first trip to Yosemite on that full moon night. My name is John Muir. For more than 25 years, Lee Stetson has been the voice of John Muir, not only as an actor, but also as a teacher, as a scholar, and as an activist for the causes Muir would have championed. Now, I, I suppose that they found in me, well, a strange, unclassified wilderness creature. People always have. I've always made, a, well, a bit of a tramp of myself out there, you see, with worn, soiled clothing, hair, lots of hair. Well, once, lots of hair. <laughs> I, 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 I remember that. Oh, I, I, once in the mountains with my bread and tea, I, I, I was free to, to follow my instincts for good or ill and to see what would be the upshot. And, and I decided then that as long as I lived, I would hear the birds and the winds and the waterfalls sing. I, I'd interpret the rocks and, and learn the language of storm and flood and avalanche and, and, and make the acquaintance of the wild gardens and the glaciers. And, and get as near to the heart of this world as I could. And so, so I did. For more than a quarter of a century, audiences have flocked to the Yosemite Theater to witness Lee Stetson's portrayal of John Muir. He has written and stars in five stage productions centered on the famous environmentalist. 